how to multiply two two-digit numbers using base 10 blocks and or arrays. If you don't have base 10 blocks, stay tuned for how to draw arrays. If you do have base 10 blocks, for this problem you're going to need one 10 by 10. You're only going to need five of your um, 10 by 1 bars and you'll only need six of your unit cubes. In this example we're going to be solving the problem 12 times 13. And to build the array just like before we want to make a rectangle or a square and we're going to make it 12 units long. We do that by placing the 10 by 10 block and then two of your 1 by 10s, your bars, are up on top. So that's 1, 2, plus 10 is 12. Then we're going to grab three more bars to help us build the 13 in the other direction. So we have 10 here, and 3 more makes 13. So now we do have a 12 by 13, but it's not a complete rectangle yet. It's not a complete array. We need to put something in this area. And all you have to do is put the blocks in one at a time until you fill in this area. You don't even need to know how many you grab. Just grab enough blocks to fill in that little space. And as you can see, we now have a full 12 by 13 array. So how do we get the answer besides counting all those individual squares? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Very simple. We're going to take our array and because they're in these blocks, we're going to break them into four different partial products. The first par partial product is a 2 by 10 rectangle up here. So on the paper, we'll write down 2 times 10 and write the answer equals 20. The next partial product is the big 10 by 10 square. It doesn't matter what order you do them in. A lot of people will start with a 10 by 10 square. It doesn't really matter. Uh, 10 times 10 is 100, so we'll write that down product is a 3 by 10 square, or rectangle, excuse me, and we'll write down 3 times 10 equals 30, so we know that this is 20 squares, this is 100, and this is 30. And finally, we're going to take this little rectangle, which is a 2 by 3 rectangle, 2 times 3 equals 6. So now we have four partial products, 20, 100, 30, and 6. So to get the total answer, we're going to add them. 20, 136, so we add them. We get 6, 3 and 2 is 5, we get 1. So all total, we have 156 as our answer. Which means that our complete product of 12 times 13 is 156. Yes, there are 156 squares here. If you don't have base 10 blocks at home, you can do the same problem on a piece of paper. Just start by drawing the 10 by 10 rectangle, or square, and you don't need to draw all the little lines in here. That would be a little tedious. Just know that the big square is 100. And then we're going to add the two bars for the 12 and the three bars for the 3. And there's that empty space again. So we're going to fill it in with six little squares. And again, we're going to take care of these four different partial products. And while we cannot separate them like we can um, the base 10 blocks, you could write in each one 2 times 10 equals 20. That takes care of this partial product. 10 times 10 is 100. 3 times 10 is 30. 2 times 3 is 6. So there's our same four partial products all over. And again, 20 plus 100 plus 30 plus 6 gives us 156. And that's how you can solve it just using a paper and pencil. The trickiest part with building arrays or drawing them with two-digit multiplication, one of them is to set up the problem. Always start with the 10 by 10 block and then build how many rows you need to in one direction. There's my 12 and rows in the other direction and the, the units that make up the empty space. And remember, you're going to have partial products. Find the partial products like we did, add them up, that's your answer.